a daily dose of practical wit and wisdom with a professional educator and trainer, Amazon best-selling author, United States Marine, television and radio host, Paul G. Markle. Each episode will focus on positive and productive ways to strengthen your mindset and help you improve your relationships, career goals, and overall well-being. Please welcome your host, Paul G. Markle. Okay, here we go again with yet one more morning mindset. And as I've said before, I'll say it again, thank you very much for tuning in, for making me and this show a part of your day. And if you'd like to share it with somebody else, that would be fantastic. Spread the word. Don't be stingy. Don't keep it all to yourself. If you're learning something and if you're getting something out of these shows, well, maybe someone else will too. New and improved Tide. Uh, How many of you guys grew up watching TV commercials, watching cartoons and sitcoms and happy days and things like that? And in between, you saw commercials for things like new and improved Tide. Well, why is Tide new and improved? What was wrong with the original Tide? Did it not work? Well, yeah, it worked, but now it's new and improved. Now, of of course, the the Madison Avenue ad agency people, they figured out a long, long time ago that if you want to sell things to the American public or the public in general, you have to get the public excited about those things. And when the product has been around for a while, like Tide laundry detergent, uh, you got to do something else, you know, new ultra cheer with steam fighter or, you know, whatever. You've got to do something to make it seem exciting. Now you say, yeah, but the original product worked just fine and we've been selling lots and lots of it, so why change it? Or is new and improved Tide really new and improved? Or did they just new and improve it because they put it in a new box? Why do you think that Tide came out with the Tide Pods, which are famous today, thanks to millennials deciding that they're going to put them in their mouths and eat them. Uh, But, you know, modern teenagers eating laundry detergent aside, why do you think that they changed things? Why do you think they came up with the pods? Didn't the powdered laundry detergent work just fine? You're like, well, yeah, my mom used that for 40 years and never had a problem with it. But now we have to have something new. Why is that? Well, Often when we see things change, there isn't really a valid reason. If you look at it, if you examine it honestly, often when we see things that are new and improved or enriched or whatever, it's just to make them seem new, seem sexy, seem interesting again, to get people interested in it. And you say, well, you know, Madison Avenue ad reps, they know that that's what you have to do. But from our standpoint, is new always better? Like, for instance, uh, when I was a a police officer many, many moons ago, uh, I became an oleoresin capsicum aerosol instructor. And you're like, what in the world is that? Pepper spray. Okay. Oleoresin capsicum aerosol is what you know as pepper spray, right? Now, if you go to the... The, uh, the giant gas station off the interstate, or if you maybe go into Walmart or you go into one of your favorite discount stores, you know, on the end cap, they'll have these spindle racks and they've got pepper spray for self-defense, right? And it's these little tiny keychain things. And if you pick up the package and you read it, it's not just pepper spray. It's ultraviolet dye or um, red marking dye or it's pepper spray mixed with mace mixed with this with the other all the other things right well something that I learned as an instructor when I became a uh, an oleo resin capsicum instructor is that the more you dilute the actual product the OC the actual pepper spray itself and it's made from cayenne peppers that's what they call it that chili peppers the more things you put in there like ultraviolet dye or red dye or you you mix the pepper spray with mace or CS or whatever, the more you change it, the more you alter it, the more you stuff you add in it, the worse the product actually becomes because you're diluting the pure 
product itself. You're taking the 100% OC pepper spray and you're putting in ultraviolet dye and you're putting in, you know, red dye or you're putting in mace or you're putting in all these additives. And every time you add something, you reduce the effectiveness of the product itself. And so people, we just say, well, if that's true, Paul, if that's the case, if they're making the product actually less effective or worse, why in the world would a company deliberately add stuff to it? Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. Because of the new and improved Tide Syndrome. Because they know that they're selling it to the average American consumer who thinks that the more stuff you put in it, the better it has to be. They have to have at least three bullet points on the packaging. There's got to be three benefit tags to get you to buy it. And so what do they put on there? They're like, ultraviolet dye for suspect identification and da, da, da. Let me tell you something. As a, uh, a person who was a police officer for uh, two decades, never once did I have a police cruiser that had an ultraviolet portable lamp that we could take and walk around and shine on people's faces to determine whether or not they had UV dye on their skin. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> I know you're like, what? But the the package said ultraviolet dye for suspect identification. I, I hate to break your bubble and, and, you know, be the bearer of bad tidings, but uh, maybe they do today. I don't know. I haven't been a cop for a while. If you guys are cops, let me know. Did, did they start issuing you portable ultraviolet lamps? You're like, well, the crime scene guys have those, but the patrol guys don't. I mention this because not every improvement is a good improvement. Just because something is, quote, new and improved doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be better. So we need to ask ourselves when we encounter the new and improved whether or not it's new and improved for a reason. And you may run into people that want to in your business, in your company, they, 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 the new guys, the ones that are always trying to change things. And you say, well, why are we trying to change this? Oh, we need to make it sexy or new or whatever. And you say, well, if we do that, if we add to it, if we just decide that we need to add things to this product or to this method to make it better, is that actually going to make it better? Or is that going to dilute the actual project? Is it going to dilute it? And is it going to make it less effective or even worse? Yeah. Now, this is part one, all right? New and improved Tide part one. And we're going to talk about that, we, what we just did. <laughs> Do, does the improvement actually make it better? Or are we just confusing the issue? Now, tomorrow, we're going to talk about new and improved Tide part two, and we're going to continue the discussion. So when uh, when the your podcast refreshes tomorrow and it says new and improved tide, don't freak that something's wrong. Today's part one. Tomorrow will be part two. All right. You guys got it? Fantastic. I'm Paul Markle, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Thank you for spending time with us today. To get show notes, submit a topic request, and for more from your host, Paul G. Markle, visit morningmindsetpodcast.com. That's morningmindsetpodcast.com. Please leave a review for this podcast on your favorite podcast player. We appreciate your time and effort, and we look forward to reading your honest feedback.